What's going on everybody? Fighters Dream Gaming up in here. I'm your host, Dre. So, I wanted to go ahead and get another Street Fighter 5 video out, but this one's going to be obviously a top 5. I was going to do top 6, but I couldn't think of a 6 character that I could really think of that I really wanted to see in Street Fighter 5. We already know that they're going to do a, another list of characters for 2017, but until then I wanted to go ahead and do my little hopes and wishes of characters that I want to see in the game. We already probably know two of the ones I'm going to say is probably a guarantee. So let's go ahead and get into it right now, guys. Now this list isn't in any particular order, it's just going to be what I feel, and I just had to number it just because, so there's no real particular order for this, but I would like to see Sean in the game, obviously we've already had Sean in the past, and he's only really been in one game, I can't remember if he's been in any other uh, crossover games, because he's definitely not been in any other Street Fighters, but you already have his sister in the game, you might as well go ahead and put him in the game also, obviously this would be a lot younger version of him, so it would be a little different to see how he's going to play considering the fact that he is really young in this game, at least in Street Fighter 5. But when you look at some of the combos he has in Street Fighter 3, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to put a character like him in. His V skills and V triggers will definitely be something interesting, if not kind of gimmicky. I would think that you know his volleyball throw would be something similar to like Vega throwing his rolls and things of that nature just because of how the mechanics are. I would be surprised if it's just strictly him having his normal moves, being able just to throw the volleyball like that or the basketball. I don't think it's going to be that case. And if they did, I mean, hey, go ahead and make it so all his moves get enhanced. Something similar to how you see Jury do. That would be pretty cool to me. But it will be a nice thing to have him in there. As much as I don't want Shoto characters anymore, it still is something that feels like it needs to be. Okay, so obviously, I do feel that, no, it's not Fei Long. I do feel like Sagat should be in the game just because of the fact that he's one of the original four kings. Kind of feels awkward when you look at the statues in the background and you don't see Sagat's face. Instead, you see that corny Fang guy sitting back there. It feels like something's missing, you know, and it's odd not having a Sagat in the game. We've had Sagat in pretty much every single Street Fighter that you can think of, maybe minus all the crossovers besides Capcom vs. SK, but we need to have him back in the game just so we can have that feel again. Again, I'm not really too excited on the aspect of, okay, we're going to see you know a bunch of fireball spams and things of that nature, but with the new engine and how they have it working now, you don't really see people just shooting fireballs all day to try and get their way on people. You'll see a lot more combos being able to actually string together. And I think someone like Sagat will look really cool pulling off some of his com combos. Of course, he still needs to be slow. And he needs to have those power hits. And he needs to be stronger, in my opinion, than Ryu. But, you know, kind of like dumb him down still. I don't want to see like, all right, you do two punches. And then all of a sudden, you got a special. And you just like do way more damage than Ryu's you know four hit punches or even three I don't want to see nothing like that but I would like to see the character come in because just doing a tiger knee tiger shot tiger uppercut all of those moves I could easily see transitioning pretty well I'm not sure how the V trigger would actually be I would assume it would be something that allowed him to shoot out maybe a bigger uh, version of his tiger shot similar to what you see Ryu do maybe not in the same format of being able to just like hold it down and just shoot but maybe allowing him to shoot you know each one of them each time out of each one of his hands single you know by themselves that'd be a kind of cool concept to see and you can kind of speed it up a little bit all right guy i have to say i want to see him in this game because i mean let's be honest the stuff that they have guy doing it looks really dope in all the Street Fighter games that he's been in. I mean, every one of them that you see, he's always been a cool character. And I just think about, again, the engine that we have now, and I'm really focusing on the new engine because the new engine has allowed even people who aren't great at pulling off combos, like your mediocre players or your casual players, it allows them to at least do something. Because a lot of stuff in Street Fighter 4, as good as the game was, the frames didn't really invite people who were just now coming in. It's kind of like the same thing that people like to complain about with Tekken, that if you don't already know how to play Tekken, you're not going to be able to get into the game, really. And that's kind of how I felt about Street Fighter 4. Not saying that it was a bad game, because I love the game. I won't play it anymore because I just don't have it, but <laughs> I do love the game. But it would be a cool thing to actually see a character like Guy come in, because you look at characters like Ibuki, for instance, who has so many combos, so many potential setups, 
that a character similar to her would be perfect in a game like this. And you already have characters who are just strictly melee as it is. Look at IE Kareen. She's one of the characters that has no projectiles whatsoever. So adding someone who's faster than Kareen in the game and has the ability to dodge around, jumping all over the place. So having them similar to a Vega, but obviously nowhere close to what Vega actually does. But we know how the character moves. He's always been very agile. And you know, seeing something that would allow him to have like a V skill to be more like a reversal, not a parry. Because we already have two characters that technically parry, and maybe three if you want to add Bison who can do the little warp thing and you know kind of counter you from there, you know, slow. It would be cool to see, like, okay, you time it right, his V skill allows you to counter, but the only way you can pull off combo potentials out of it is you would have to have bars. So you have to sacrifice your meter just to go ahead and do maybe his shoulder charge or maybe the hurricane kick that he has, things of that nature that would allow him to still connect, but to you know, just to make it fair, you wouldn't have so many options outside of that. So think of something similar to a crush counter, just not as heavy on damage, but just allow you to get at least a comeback on somebody. Because again, we know Guy never had any actual special projectile abilities. He was just strictly a strong melee character that can get up in your face, put down some real good combos, and really put pressure on characters like no one other. So I would like to see him come into the game. And obviously with some of the new engine again, some of the specials, I could easily see him being just ridiculously cool. Something similar to like what they did before in Street Fighter 4 when he would, you know, dash off the wall, spinning you around, and grab you doing his Zuna drop. Maybe add on to that. Just like they did with Ibuki, they changed up her special. I can imagine a character like Guy just being just ridiculously over the top and crazy. So that's just one that I want to definitely see coming to the game. All right. Just because of the fact I've always liked this character, I was never really good with him, I do want to see Q come back into the game. I always thought Q was a cool and interesting character, and considering the fact that we, I, I would like to see more grapple characters more than anything else, and someone like a Q who strictly primarily focused on grapples and had the ability to get around you when necessary compared to what an Alex does who has to use his B skill if you really want to like counter everything or get through a lot of moves and then obviously we talk Zangief who has to spin a lot and if you're really good obviously we know you can dominate we've seen this stuff in the past we look at Maximilian or not Maximilian but uh, Gutex and Mike Ross the dude who was playing as Zangief against them was just rocking them so a character like Q in the game would be really nice to have now this is gonna be biting off of another game right now I would like to see Q have something similar to what Jason had like an invulnerable state he's still taking damage but he can still go through a lot of your moves not like how Urian has that he has to use a special move to go through you if he does his V skill but something that allows you to when you V trigger you immediately have the vulnerability even though you still get damage but you can just take the hits and keep moving that just seems like it would be fitting for a character like you. So having him in the game would make it a lot more interesting fighting against him and seeing more variety in the game. Because I really am against seeing a bunch of Shoto characters, but having more unique characters that we haven't seen is a better option to me. And of course, as much as I really, again, I stress the fact that I don't really want to see a bunch of Shoto characters in the game. But I have to just go ahead and put him in the list because of the fact, you know, he's a staple. He's a staple at this point of the game. When you think of Street Fighter, obviously you think Ryu, you think Ken. But it's amazing how this character right here, Akuma, has become part of the three that you think of. You think of the big three, you think Ryu, Ken, and Akuma. And that's usually how it goes. And I just don't want to see him in it, mainly due to the fact that, again, I, I don't like when he gets flooded with nothing but Shoto characters. But I can't deny the impact the character has. I can't deny the combo potentials that he can also be putting down in a game like Street Fighter V and the engine that they have. There's just no possible way to get around it. With all his abilities, all his skills, all the things he can pull off, it just would make sense to have someone like him in. I think the only problem that he would have is trying to figure out how to make his V skill work in a manner that allowed you to actually be different still from Ryu and Ken because as you see we already know Ken 
has the ability to keep the flames going while he's in his V-Trigger. Then Ryu has the ability to keep doing, you know, fireballs. Uh, was it the Daji and Hadoukens and stuff? You can keep doing that. So seeing those kind of aspects already taken care of, it kind of takes away a lot of stuff from Akuma. And then we can't have him teleporting all over the place because we already got Bison doing it. So that'll be an interesting one to see how the character changes because that's the only way to make it work, guys. Is he's going to have to change in a format that makes it so people can actually rock with the character. And seeing something like this, I think, would be a very interesting and cool way to put a character like Akuma into the game. Even though I don't want to do it. I'm sick and tired of these Shoto characters, but you can't knock what they are. Alright, guys.